You are not going to believe what a mobility scooter company is trying to charge me more than $1,000 for. My mobility scooter is broken. I feel really like stuck and can't do anything until we get it resolved. But the really frustrating part was that the company that I ordered it from said that the parts that broke are not covered under warranty and they claim that in order to replace these parts you also have to replace the motor and that they had to also pay for labor we have a plan that's supposed to cover the labor costs but they said that's only for parts under warranty honestly it's kind of feeling a little bit like a scam because they want to charge a thousand dollars for the parts plus the labor but you can get a new scooter starting at maybe fifteen hundred basically charging me the price of a new scooter to fix one very minor part let me show you what is broken this is one of the pieces of my scooter and usually these wheels would be facing down obviously but these little pins connect the front half to the back half there but this is what's broken. Do you see this pin that's bent here? They want more than $1,000 because that is broken. What feels particularly baffling is this scooter brand is Pride Mobility. They're not the company that sold it to me. The scooter itself has been good aside from if this is really true that these pins require a complete motor replacement. And then it seems like a big flaw in design, but what I'm really confused by is this is the same brand that most of the rental companies, including the companies that Disney World themselves partners with for external rentals and recommends to their guests, use Pride Mobility scooters. And that was actually one of the key deciding factors for me in why I got that myself because that means that there's tons of rental companies that be this brand is trustworthy enough and like Disney is essentially like recommending pride scooters to all of their guests that if this is true that these pins require a thousand dollars in cost to replace the pins and the motor just because one pin got bent disney world and disneyland guests people are getting these scooters they're on vacation they don't own the scooter directly themselves they're maybe a little overwhelmed about how to fit it in their car they've got kids that are impatient there's a lot of stuff going on and they're probably not taking the best care of the scooter right when they're putting it in and out of their car it just doesn't make sense to me that these companies would be renting out scooters where if one pin bends, you have to spend a thousand dollars, most of the price of a new scooter to have it repaired. That just doesn't math to me. I feel like you would not make enough profit off of constantly needing to replace these scooters, right? That just doesn't make any sense to me. I'm feeling very frustrated. We're working on trying to fix it ourselves we're taking it to another like local repair shop um, to get a second opinion because then i'm just feeling very stuck and i feel frustrated because it feels, it feels frustrating to be like have to have your mobility depend on a device that can break down so easily i will report back let me know what you think of this little pin. If you happen to be like a scooter expert, please tell me what to do because I do not know. Thanks.